Hello and welcome guys. I actually have Boon Table and Arc DPS videos how to install and configure them on the channel, but especially about Boon Table, I get lots of questions in the comments. And the videos I have for Boon Table and Arc DPS are from the times when Guild Wars 2 still had DX9. And now DX9 is completely gone. We have DX11, so I felt the need of making a new video in hopes that will help new players and players who have been commenting on the other videos about these add ons. This video will teach you how to install and configure and arrange the Arc DPS and Boon Table to your needs, but it is not an advanced detail guide, FYI. First of all, I have to tell you that even though Arc DPS and Boon Table are widely common, we know that they're not official add-ons by Ainit. So every player installs them at their own risk, but to put you on ease in one of the forums in the past, one of the Init developers openly supported Arc DPS, so we know that it is safe to install it for now. Until Init doesn't support it anymore. <laughs> and also highly beneficial for some runs with specific requirements if you want to meet certain DPS numbers too, so it helps player base too. I made this video unscripted, I hope you enjoy it, I hope it's useful for you. Now let's go! So I, I thought it would be easier to make it like this because I pretty much know most of the stuff and customization you can do with Arc DPS and I'm sure it will help new players. You need to come to deltaconnected.com slash Arc DPS slash to be able to download Arc DPS. Here in this website, you can read the specifications, limitations and stuff uh, the coder, the programmer uh, takes note. And here is the download section. You click here and then you need to download these two DLL files. I have downloaded them. They're on my desktop right now, here. Now we will download uh, boon table and you download boon table from github from nox fighters page it's named guild wars 2 arc dps boon table and it says click here to download in blue big font <laughs> here you need to download this file dla we need the dla file and i downloaded this too it's on my desktop waiting for us So now we have three DLL files, right? You need to go to your Guild Wars 2 file and here you see I don't open any other files. You need to, you're gonna just take these DLLs and just paste them in the main file. That's about it. That's 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 it's this simple. And when you when you open the game, it's gonna create an add-on file automatically by itself. So let's see how it goes when we open the game. So this, the one, uh, the thing on the top left side, it automatically pops up, but if it doesn't pop up, let me get into one of my characters. If it doesn't pop up, you're gonna use shift alt T to get this. It's, it's the shortcut of it, shift alt T. This part, particularly is for arc dps so when you click area stats because we want to know the area stats it will automatically create you a damage dps meter this is arc dps if you don't have boon table you're you're not gonna have this boon table stuff here so if something went wrong and if you don't see this part it's because you don't have boon table if you installed it correctly like i did you're gonna see this part so area stat comes here, uh, I, you can put it anywhere, you can drag it, but I want to see break bar 2 because I want to see which player makes the most break bar uh, thing, right? So I come here, you click the top part and you'll come to advanced stats and now you can choose what you want it to show. For example, do you want to see a break bar? No, this is a break bar meter. And let's see what else there is. I want to see cleanses. I want another one. I want to see 
strips so yeah these are the, you can have as much as you want here i don't know the limit of this but it's it's absolutely enough for uh, both pv and pvp players you can use these add-ons on world versus world 2 and i created these because you strip boons from other players right enemy players and you cleanse the debuffs from your own team these are important meters in world versus world for pv i definitely recommend just having the damage and break bar it's ultimately enough for a pv player even though you're dps by the way i definitely recommend the break bar having the break bar as a dps too because break bar system is weird in guild wars not weird actually it makes sense but it's different than what i see in other games when a break bar shows and when you use your cc skills too late a little bit later other players break the bar and even though you used your cc skills it may not register because you weren't fast enough then you may want to work on your timing eventually the group succeeds because the break bar is broken but if the group needs to, maybe you need to be faster because there is there are some time gated uh, CC bars in some CMs in um, in raids. So having as a DPS having a break bar meter is also useful, absolutely useful. So metrics here I also use. This is your FPS, your ping, and I don't know what the last one is, but I put this here so. I can keep track of my FPS, my computer situation, and my ping too. Uh, so if I have ping like 200, 300, happens, very really happens, thankfully in my area, but happens so that I can let the players in my squad know that, so they they don't trust me doing mechanics and stuff. So for Arc DPS, uh, when it comes to customization, as you can see, I color code myself. Uh, there are a few things I use here. You can, you can choose to sort using only per second or you can just limit it to target damage because it, it measures the overall damage, your area damage and your target damage but you can see, uh, see them separately. Here on the advanced stats, uh, like I said we talked about these. You can also use rest count, rest time. Uh, if your if your party is learning, training, uh, struggling a little bit, you might want to keep your players alive. So if you want to do that, you want to see the rest time because everyone is responsible for the downed player. Let's see DPS out, DPS in, cancel strips, cleanses, dodges. On display, I don't use any other thing here. But you might you might want to check what's in there. So here, if you're new to the game, on the display section, you might have a profession text. Uh, if you don't know the symbols yet, because if you're new, there are a lot of profession symbols. So this is Tempest. It's gonna shorten it for you. It's gonna be easier for you to see what profession that person is, that player is. And here, you can, you may or may not have profession icons i can recognize most of the icons of classes i play now i have no idea about some of them after all those years but we don't talk about that um so instead of having the bar colored you can color yourself uh your text you can subgroup them so it's gonna color sub 1 red for example or and, and sub 2 another color it could be good for support because if you're support you can see how much giving less or more boons will affect your subgroups dps compared to other subgroup i think three might is like no eight might is like 3k dps something like that so it affects a lot and this is max name length i use this too this is gonna just shorten your name Mask displayed, again, it limits people you will see here to 10, so you don't see pages and pages when you join meta events. So, boon table. This is the 
most complicated one, I think. <laughs> when you create it, yes, it creates your table. But when you're 10 players, and it shows sub 1 and sub 2 too, because as you know, you can only give certain buffs to 5 players in your own uh, sub squad, in your squad. So it divides that too. Uh, so this becomes like a huge table. So we need to make it smaller, easily readable. So here we need to come to style. So this will lengthen and squeeze it. The, even this is big for raid. So I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it like this small. It will it will still be readable. Uh, oh, by the way, this max display is also important. Uh, you may want to keep it as 10 because I sometimes leave this open and join meta events and this list goes like pages and pages and pages. So if you limit the max display to 10, it's gonna make your job easier. So the coloring mode here is one of the other important things you might want to use. You might want to color people by their profession or by the percentage. If you color by the percentage, by the way, it's not changing my name, uh, the color of my name. Uh, because this is not about my name, this is about the bars. If I have alacrity, let me have some alacrity if it's gonna show. Mm, I can't see it. Let's go to training room. So yeah. Uh, now as you can see, it's actually coloring the bars. Because elementalist is color coded as red, it's showing by profession, but if I color by percentage, uh, it shows the red ones as like this is not enough protection. Sorry, that's my cat. And the yellow ones are like, yeah, this is good alacrity. Yeah, this is average alacrity. So by percentage, by profession, this is absolutely your choice. I would use percentage. So if something goes red, my attention goes there naturally. So it's going to be helpful. So I also use show self on top. Even though there are 10 players, this, this option will show you always on top. So if let's say the alacrity range for elementalist maybe is not big as other supports. If your alacrity is like 90%, 100% and if one or two of your players, if they're not doing the mechanic have like 20% alacrity, maybe they should stack with you more. So I want to see myself and see my output on myself to be able to see and compare it to my squad and other players. What else there is? You can hide the window header to make it smaller. I don't mind it. it this the, Using it this way like makes it harder to move around. <laughs> so I don't do that. If you do not recognize the boons yet, you can turn them into their names. Ah, oh, also, one important thing, you can add specific buffs here. Let's say you're a warrior, right, and you're, uh, you're using banner. And if you want to see how much your allies benefit from your buffs, you can come here, column setup, and put your buffs here. For example, I don't give quickness with elementalist, so I don't want to see quickness, so I might want to take it off the table. Uh, or if I'm a guardian, maybe I want to see how much my output with another buff. So I can add and remove buffs too. You might want to see the whole squad as individual players. But if you divide it to subgroups, when you have a raid party, 10 people party, it's going to divide it to subgroups as well. So like you're going to have sub 1 and then sub 2 lines on the table. So that's about it. This is this is what you'll need to start using ArcDPS and Boon Table. I hope it helps. Direct X9 is not used now. These are all Direct X11 oriented. If you're looking for advanced detailed use of these add-ons, I do not use them that detailed. I don't know what can I teach you uh, to make a video like that, but this is this this video will help new players and people who are struggling to install and start using this because it might be complicated at first. I hope it helps. This was pretty unscripted. It took a little bit longer than if it would be scripted, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps. See you guys around. Bye bye.